Welcome to Euro PCR 2019. I'm here, I'm Francesco De La Rosa. I am an interventional cardiologist in Milan, and I'm here today with Harim Butner from Germany. And I welcome you, Harim. Thank you, Francesco. So, and we are speaking today, today I'm focusing about CTO. So, why Euro PCR 2019 put more focus on CTO? Yeah. Um, the indication uh, to perform CTO intervention is uh, more and more accepted in the interventional community. So more and more cath labs start CTO programs and uh, many, especially of the young doctors, uh, want to be also good CTO interventionalists. So uh, uh, Euro PCR uh, has put more emphasis uh, on the CTO sessions and they have a number of different CTO sessions uh, during this year. And uh, these are sessions usually that uh, are focused very much on the uh, typical daily life situations in the catheter laboratory. They're usually based on uh, live in a box videos. And in addition, we have some information with slides on schematic pictures uh, on certain technical steps. And um, the goal is always to have a very good interaction uh, with the audience and uh, uh, it's always very valuable to hear from these experienced colleagues in the audience uh, their opinions on the next best uh, step uh, uh, or uh, next best strategy or their comments uh, on what we uh, showed in the Life in a Box case. And we do these uh, sessions together with other experienced colleagues. Sometimes it's two of us, sometimes it's three of us. Three of us. Uh, some of the sessions are more learning types of sessions with a bigger auditorium with around 200 attendees. Um, and some are smaller and uh, relaxed ones like the sharing center sessions with armchairs and cookies. And uh, it's a, a more, uh, it's, it's a, a very nice uh, familiar atmosphere Set, there yes. and uh, they are usually based more on uh, tools and techniques and uh, more focused on especially especially technical tricks and tips okay thank you very much for this overview on all the format session we have and uh, what about CTO you, you mentioned tools and technique so can you tell us something more maybe I know Many people who attend in session to un understand much more about integrate approach or about retrograde approach. Can you tell us something more? Yeah, uh, we have now fantastic material, uh, special CTO wires, uh, fantastic microcatheters. So with this material and uh, with these sophisticated, uh, established uh, interventional techniques. Now we are able uh, to have successful interventions uh, with successful recronizations in almost 90% or sometimes more than 90% of uh, the chronic total occlusions. Um, usually uh, uh, colleagues who attend these sessions have some or even uh, are more experienced with integrate techniques and uh, they are usually just at the transition from the integrate to the retrograde techniques and so most of them want to have more detailed information uh, how to use uh, the material and how uh, which techniques are the best uh, for the retrograde interventions for going through collaterals and for bringing the integrate and the retrograde wire world together all these wire connection techniques so this is usually uh, what most of the colleagues want to know uh, how to start with the retrograde uh, CTO program. Yes, and of course, how to approach a, a CTO can help them also in approaching complex uh, stenosis, this coronary right. stenosis. This is right. Uh, when you uh, get used to the CTO material, to the special wires and uh, microcatheters, you can use that also for non-occlusive lesions. And I think a good CTO operator is always uh, a better uh, non-CTO operator as well because he can use uh, this material especially uh, for critical situations or for very complex lesions. Uh, it will help him also uh, in cool. uh, the treatment of non-occlusive lesions. And to conclude, I know you proctored CTO programs also in some cat lab. Can you tell us more and what you suggest to, to a younger 
who yeah. want to perform CTO? Uh, my privilege is to be born quite early and so I left the regular job in my hospital now uh, two and a half years ago and since then I do a lot of uh, CTO programming. It is usually so that the, uh, these colleagues uh, have a lot of experience already with integrate cases and when they are not successful they send the patient away to a center and uh, they perform the intervention. And, uh, but besides uh, all these conferences and the workshops, it's, it's very, very helpful if you have somebody in your cath lab that helps you, especially when you start trying to go through collaterals or doing some uh, more uh, advanced, uh, performing some more advanced techniques. And that's what I do since uh, two and a half years, uh, procuring as a second operator. These colleagues are usually very experienced and you just have to tell them what are the special materials, how do you use them, how do you shape the wires, when do you, should you switch to the next strategy and what is the next strategy. And, so, and, and you can steer somebody through a very complex retrograde intervention uh, who never did any a retrograde case before. So it, it works very nicely uh, to help uh, or to support um, the colleagues in their own cath lab and the whole team in the cath lab then realizes oh it works, it's worth the effort, it's worth the cost for the material and they have in the end the feeling I've done it myself and they did it themselves. So it's much better than sending the patient away. But you have to have a colleague in the hospital who is experienced who helps you or to find a proctor who helps you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for watching EuroPCR 2019.